Hey everyone, welcome welcome, my name's Charlie and today I'm going to be playing some more Stardew Valley Expanded. So it's now summer, which means two things. First, Victor's birthday is coming up and also tomatoes grow in the summer. I'm thinking my goals for this video will be to lay the foundations for a spaghetti empire, like grow my own tomatoes, upgrade my house to get the kitchen, stuff like that, and also I'd like to marry Victor. I know it's only the second month, but I'm impatient, uh, yep. So last time that we played, we basically just bought spaghetti, which was not the most productive thing. So first things first, I'm gonna buy as many tomatoes as possible. So the game plan here is to grow a bunch of tomatoes as well as some hot peppers, which I'll be gifting to Lewis. This is because in order to get the recipe for spaghetti, I need to get him to three hearts. So let's see, sprinklers. We can make five sprinklers, which is not that good, but it's okay. Here, one, two, eh. Eh, uh, okay, I don't have the brain capacity. I'm just gonna put them like this. Oh! Shoot, I'm wasting a spot. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Okay, all the tomatoes are watered and I'm gonna see if there's anything I can sell because I need money to buy spaghetti. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I paid $700 for this and you're only giving me 125? That is a joke. I'm not- I'm not selling you that milk, sir. That's actually absurd. <gasps> oh, I don't care. I don't like her. Hello. Okay, I- you- Ooh, does he like milk? I don't remember. Mm, okay, I did it. Ah, oh, frick! I could have sold that for so much money! Oh. Uh, I'm not doing well. I'm off to a bad start today. Oh god, I thought that was a piece of coral, it's just Vincent. I decided that because I'd spent so much money on tomatoes, I'd spend the rest of the day in the mines looking for gems to sell. Eh, please, spare me, oh my god. I forgot I'm using the dagger. Oh, I forgot it was good. So my coop is done, the spirits are displeased, and I need spaghetti. Oh, what the heck? Why is she always so scared of me? Oh my gosh, I'm just walking. Why is she like trembling? What the heck? Oh! Wait, I can purchase sprinklers from her? I wish I knew that before I wasted all my materials. Wait, so where did she say? In here? Oh! Oh, that's a lot of money. Wait, that's so good though. Holy crud, that's a lot of money. Okay. I need money. I'm frazzled. Wait, I haven't even said hi to Victor yet. It's already summer too, what am I doing? I don't know where he is, like ever. Oh, <gasps> I can go in his room. <gasps> it's been a year since I graduated from Pelkar University with my engineering degree. I'm not sure what I wanna do with my life. I was offered an internship in Zuzu City at a well-known company, but I turned it down. I never told mom. I need more time to think about what I want to do, not what others want. I respect that. I really respect that, Victor. Hmm. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving. That was enough. Oh, hello. I was not just in your room. Nope, not me. Nah, never. Why would I ever do that? Victor, I'm trying! I'm trying to get spaghetti! The gas won't go- <laughs> Okay, I gotta go get spaghetti. He specifically requested it. No! What the heck? Alright, I don't think Gus is opening today, so I'm probably just gonna end up heading to the mines. So each of the quality sprinklers is like $4,000. Like, how am I supposed to make that much money? I mean... I'm gonna have a lot of chilies and tomatoes, which is good because those continuously grow, but I just don't know how many harvests I'll get from what I have. I think I definitely need to make some preserve jars though, just because that's always a pretty solid way of getting money. There was an explosion during the night? Uh... Hello? I'm Susan, the owner of Emerald Farm up at the railroad. I've been trapped up there since Jojo caused the rock. <laughs> what? Good to meet you, I guess. Welcome to the land of the living.
I'm on my way. Whew. Oh! Oh my god. Do you need medical attention? He's okay, he's okay, don't worry. It builds character. This is all falling apart, I'm just gonna go mining. Also, I just realized that with my axe upgraded, I can now open this area to the greenhouse. How do I get a keg? Um, artisan bundle. All right, let me go check my fruit cave and see what fruits I've got cooking up here. Ooh! Ooh! Wait, I'm gonna go to the railroad and see what's up here. Oh, this is so cute. Hello. Oh, oh, she has Keg City in there. Wait, what? What is this? Goethe, Slimes 93 Skeleton. What? What the heck is this? These are tombstones, obviously. Ketra. Slime, what? Hey? Wow. Okay. How do I get rid of that rock? What the heck? All right, I'm just gonna keep going. Ah, oh, I don't have anything. Oh, I could've made cheese. I can make a bee house. I just need maple syrup. Why does everybody in this town just love Gus's spaghetti? What the heck? Like I'd be stupid not to make a spaghetti empire. Ooh, that was a decent amount of money. Like I could buy a sprinkler if I wanted. I think it would probably be best to save my money for now. I don't know if the sprinkler is really necessary because I don't particularly mind watering the crops. Oh, <gasps> my peppers are ready. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I already gave Lewis a ton of gifts this week though. Okay, well still our plans are in motion. Oh, you know something else that I need for spaghetti is wheat flour. I need to grow wheat. Oh gosh, okay. Maybe I do need the sprinkler. It's just so expensive. Like I only have $5,000 and the sprinkler's like 4,000. That's most of my money. And I need spaghetti too. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it. I think having a sprinkler for the wheat would be really helpful. Oh, that's a lot of money. Okay. That afternoon, I purchased a bunch of wheat seeds and planted them next to my tomatoes. A couple of people left a comment on the last video saying, oh no. The crab pond doesn't actually produce crab cakes. You have to like fish them out and cook them yourself and I don't like that. So I think I'm gonna replace the crabs with like lava eels or something because I know that they do produce like the spicy eel, whatever it is that makes you faster. Also, they turn the water of the pond red and I feel like that's a good vibe for the spaghetti empire. Okay, so now that I have some wheat growing, I think the next thing I should focus on is getting a mill because I'm gonna need to turn it into wheat flour. I'm just not sure what that entails. So I'm gonna have to go check it out at Robin's. Okay, so to make the mill, I need $2,500, which isn't really that bad, and then 150 wood, 50 stone, and four cloth. Uh, so I don't know where to get cloth, because I can't go to Skull Caverns. Um, oh, no, I do. A recycling machine. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of recycling machines, because actually that would be good, because I can use the cloth for the artisan bundle as well. Two birds, one stone, you know. So I'm pretty certain that the one that produces cloth is the soggy newspaper, so I'm basically just gonna stand here and fish trash for a while until I get two of them. That- that's a fish, what? Wait, you can fish actual fish out of this pond? What? What? Okay, I'm going to a different pond. I don't know where they all are anymore. Uh, where's the nearest garbage pond? There's one. What about this one? Oh, I can actually do that? All right, this will have to do. What? Uh, where do I get some garbage around here? Wait, what? I don't want these. Ah! I just want garbage, what the heck? 
Actually, crab pots? Oh, I found garbage! I started off the next morning by giving Victor spaghetti and Louis a hot pepper. After, I discovered that fishing on level 100 of the mines was a really reliable way of getting the trash I needed to make cloth. Huh! Yes! I should have just come here. Wow, I think this is the peak of my Stardew career. Just sitting here, fishing up trash. Wait, what? I thought the soggy newspaper was... What? Is it... Is it just the general trash then that turns into cloth? This stuff? What? Am I tripping? Which... What? I'm so sure that something turns into cloth. Hold on. Oh, okay. So it is the soggy newspaper, but it has a 90% chance of turning into a torch and a 10% chance of turning into cloth. So I'm gonna need to get more soggy newspapers then. Okay, all right, got it. First thing the next day, I brought Victor his spaghetti and ended up getting him to full hearts. Okay, that was really fast. I would like to start dating him now. I don't really know how dating humans works. Do I have to get like a bouquet or something. I think that's how it works. Oh, bouquet. I'm kind of nervous. What if I give him the snail? Oh, what is going on? Oh, she's gonna see that he rejected the job offer. Oh, she does not look happy. You've been turning down job offers? Oh, yikes. I'm hiding behind the corner. Do not lie to me again, Victor. I read your diary. I mean, I read it too, Olivia, but I didn't have to throw a fit, okay? What is the point of the charade? Don't you want to have a successful career? Oh, Victor, I'm buying a one-bedroom apartment for you in Zuzu City. I'll give you some starting money and then I'm cutting you- Uh, no you're not. That is not happening. You can live on my farm, Victor. I was literally about to just propose to you. Maybe being back in the city without my bank account to rely on will inspire you to start- Ah, uh, No. No? No, no. No, no, no? There's nothing to explain. This is for your own good. Like, they, I can stop this, right? Oh, I'm about to. Oh my god, she looks like she wants to stab me, dude. You were eavesdropping on our conversation. I mean, you were screaming. I came by to read some of Victor's books and I heard you two arguing. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. I'm gonna say that. Are you saying you? He's an apprentice! Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh. We celebrated Victor's internship with the finest aged Blue Moon Vineyard wine and exchanged laughs. That's so cute. I'm really excited about that actually. Oh, here's some more exciting news. <laughs> I don't have any words. I don't have any words. It's not a big deal. It's pretty exciting, I guess, but you know, whatever, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It is not a big deal. Guys, no need to be shocked. It is not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. Then I spent the rest of the day fishing up trash to try and get more soggy newspapers. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm doing this with my left hand. I'm right handed. Oh my god, oh my god, I wasn't expecting a fish. Oh my god, I was reading, I was reading my Discord. Oh my god. Oh my god, please, I need this. Oh! Okay. No more distractions. No more distracted fishing. So we actually came away with five soggy newspapers, which is pretty good because the other night we only got two. So hoping that one of these turns into cloth. Okay. Neither of those are cloth. No, I need cloth, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to grind for some more soggy newspaper. The next morning, all of my wheat had grown, so I harvested it and replanted some more of my wheat seeds. Okay, I don't have any energy, so I think I'm probably just gonna go foraging and look through the garbage for the rest of the day. 
I ended up adding some better pathways on the farm and harvested my tomatoes for the first time the next morning. It's the first tomato harvest of the season. Oh, and the luau is tomorrow. I can use one of my tomatoes. Everyone will be so impressed. Let's see, I'll put them here for safekeeping. I don't know why, but every time I'm watering things vertically, I always like pick and roll my crops, like breaking their little crop ankles. Obviously it's to orient myself, but it just looks stupid. Like I, and I can't even control it, it just happens. So with the way things are looking with Victor, I think he's gonna be, you know, moving in soon. And I wanna make sure that the farm looks really good. So I wanna make sure that the farm looks really good so that he's super impressed and happy to be here, you know? I think obviously the first order of business is changing these paths because the cobblestone looks really ugly. I'm not the biggest fan of stone paths, but at the same time, there's a lot of stone paths around Pelican Town now and I feel like I just wanna fit in with the vibe. Mm. That night, I reached level four farming and unlocked the recipe for the preserves jar. The next day was the luau and I was super excited cause I had a juicy gold star tomato to sauce in the pot. And you know what? The governor hated it. He said the soup was just average. Like, am I a joke to you? I was so devastated that I decided to just plant my melon seeds and spend the rest of the day fishing up garbage in the mines. I also ended up catching a lava eel, which I could toss in my fish pond. I spent the next couple days catching garbage, giving Victor spaghetti and yeah, Catching, catching garbage. On the 14th though, I made my first maple syrup and crafted a bee house. I also got my first cloth from the recycling machine, which meant I only had three more left to get. After giving Lewis a hot pepper the next morning, I finally reached the three hearts needed to get the recipe and then started to gather all the materials I needed for the mill. I chopped down a bunch of trees, fished for garbage, and also continued to chip away at the artisan bundle in the community center. I was ultimately hoping to finish that bundle up and get the keg as a reward. Okay, so I'm gonna buy one of these trout soups to raise my fishing level and then go try and get some more new fish. Um, what is this? I didn't have the materials for the mill yet, but I just reached $10,000, so I decided to purchase the house upgrade from Robin before soggy newspaper hunting that night. I was steadily collecting the cloth I needed for the mill, and after spending the entire next day fishing up trash, I got two more cloth, leaving just one more to get. Blueberry, melon, and another bundle complete. Ooh! A sprinkler! Perfect. That night, I returned to the mines and beat my own record, fishing up eight soggy newspapers, allowing me to get the final cloth that I needed to make the mill. When I woke up the next morning, my house upgrade had finished and my house was super ugly, so I did a bit of rearranging. Here is your pasta. I know that I'm kind of a nerd, but you don't judge me for it. Okay. You're a good friend, Charlie. Uh, we're dating. Okay, whatever. Oh, what? I don't know what the economy is like in this town, but I think a bar of pure gold is a bit much for getting ice cream. Wait, isn't this one of her liked gifts? Can I just... Okay. After crafting the mill and adding some more paths to the farm, I realized that it was a very special day. Victor's birthday. I rushed to his house that morning and gave him a plate of spaghetti, bringing him to full hearts. Okay, how do human marriages work? I don't even know. I think I need to get the mermaid pendant, which means I need to fix the bridge on the beach. I think. Jeez, hello. Charlie, I was just running over to your farm. Why? It's official, Charlie. I received my acceptance letter from Grampleton and credentials from the Bridge Engineering Association. That's so exciting, oh my god. Sounds like a high paying job. Wanna walk up to the summit with me? Okay, okay. Take my hand, oh my gosh. Oh, sweet pea. Charlie, it feels like we just met yesterday. Well, to be quite frank, I did only meet you like two weeks ago, but continue, continue. We listen to each other, inspire each other, challenge each other. Th this really sounds like a proposal. Is he gonna propose to me right now? You're 
precious to me and you always will be. Whoa, look at this dude. He's just soaring across the screen. Oh, whoa, look at this bird. I, I'm paying attention, I swear, I'm sorry. So I was thinking to celebrate, maybe we can- Oh! I just went in there, I went for the kill! Dang! Okay! <laughs> okay! This is fine. I'm fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. That moment on the summit was better than any scene in a book. Okay, I honestly thought I dreamt it, so I'm glad to know it really happened. Okay, so the first thing on the to-do list is getting 300 wood, because I need to be able to go to the other side of the beach. I've fixed it. And where is the guy? Oh, he's only here on rainy days. Wow, that sucks. Okay, I guess I just gotta pray for another rainy day before the end of the summer. Wow, all right, literally the next day it rains. That is so lucky. Before I head to the beach, I'm gonna sauce some of this hay in my new mill. Um, okay, is that it? I've never used a mill before in my life. I headed to the beach directly after and quickly realized that I needed $5,000 to buy the mermaid pendant. So we've encountered an obstacle. I need $5,000 and Pierre's is closed, so I'm gonna sell some of my extra tomatoes at Joja to get the money for the pendant. What? You can't sell things here? What kind of establishment is this? After racking my brain for ideas on how to get the money, I decided to gather up all my extra ore and gems to sell to Clint. All right, it's go time, it's go time. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is actually so perfect. It's raining, so he'll be alone in his room, which means Olivia's not gonna be just standing there. That would really freak me out. I wouldn't enjoy that. Okay, I've just gotta do it. Just gotta give this to that. And then that's that. And yeah, yep, that's how it goes. Ah, oh, he's blushing. Oh my God. He accepts. Oh my god, three days? That is so soon. I don't even care. I'm so excited! I have married Victor. I have married Victor. I have married Victor. I wonder when it's from. Okay, the interior of this house is actually atrocious. I've got to move some stuff around and make it look nice before Victor moves in. <gasps> we hugged. I just got my first batch of wheat flour, so I'm gonna grab my tomatoes and just make it all into spaghetti. The spaghetti chest needs to be fully stocked for when Victor moves in. It felt like the three days were passing by super slowly, so I spent some more time fishing and getting some of the new fish. I also managed to catch a train as it was passing through, but it didn't drop a single thing. Like, I honestly don't think I've ever gotten an item from the train, so I'm starting to doubt that that actually happens. After running around town trying to pass the time, the day finally came. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited! When Charlie first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if she'd fit in with our community. Okay, rude? It's my great honor on this day 27 of summer to unite Charlie and Victor in the bonds of marriage. Wait, what? Did I seriously roll up to my own wedding in jeans, a salmon t-shirt, and a straw hat? Why don't I get to wear like a nice dress? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Charlie, Victor, blah blah blah, I now pronounce you wife and husband. You may kiss. Yay! We're married! Life is gonna be different from now on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh! What the heck? Did his pants just disappear for a second? Am I tripping? To celebrate our marriage, I tossed some more weed in the mill and planted a bunch more seeds using my extra sprinklers on the bottom of the farm. I also gave Victor some wedding spaghetti and added some more paths to the farm just to make it look a bit nicer. After a long and eventful day, I went to sleep next to my new husband for the first time. I also realized the next morning that for once in my life, I wouldn't absolutely hate the Moonlight Jelly Festival because I would be sharing it with someone special. Once I'd finished up my mining for the day, I headed down to the beach and began the festival where Victor and I held hands on the dock and watched the moonlight jellies float by. Before I wrap up for the day, I wanted to answer this question by Abby Plays, who had asked what Abigail stands for. I thought long and hard about this, and I've decided that Abigail officially stands for Annoying Big Idiot God A Smite Her Please I Appreciate It Love Charlie. Yep. 
Unless Abby stands for Abigail. This doesn't apply to you. This is just Abigail, Abigail, the one that eats rocks. So, after another whole month, I managed to catch like 30 soggy newspapers and marry Victor, so I call that a success, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you here. Also, consider joining my Discord. I'll leave a link in the description and there's really no other place on earth you can find cursed images like these, it's, it's quite a time. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!